Hello everybody and welcome to a really long post commentary that I don't really want to do here. Enjoying my game of tag. Yeah, we already went through all this. I did get my way through the, you know, bad part. So you guys didn't have to watch me go through the whole game of tag again. I had to go do all that nonsense twice. But I did it and now we're back here to the fight. And this time we will say no because I don't want to have to redo all that all over again. Oh, that was so obnoxious having to redo all that. But whatever. So yeah, so now we can actually fight Dementio. Do the fight the right way. Instead of just joining her team and being brainwashed by her leafy power. Why does she have leaves anyway? I feel like her thing would like, maybe put on like a clown head on us or something. No way. Shag, this mustache is all Luigi. Yeah. I got the better mustache though, Luigi. You gotta admit. Whenever you walk in the room, Luigi, you got the second best mustache. Mario's always got the best mustache. You got the number two stash. Run for it, bro. All right, whatever. So then we go on ahead and do our own thing and leave Luigi back to fight. Now, yeah, we have 15 minutes of stuff to talk about. I looked up controversial gaming topics online to think of something to talk about. Yeah, that's how corny I am and terrible at looking up conversations to talk about when doing post commentary. And I found next to nothing to talk about. So I guess I'll just shut up for the last next 14 minutes. Just kidding. I'm not going to be quiet. Um, although I really don't have anything to talk about. Uh, let's look online, actually, because we don't have to watch this video because I don't watch them anyway. Uh, let's look at stuff we can discuss. Uh, addiction. A video game addiction. That sounds stupid. People don't get addicted to video games. LGBT characters. What the hell? I don't want to talk about that. Sex and nudity. I've no, we're not getting into that either. You get some really awkward discussions here. All right, whatever. There's nothing to talk about because everything else is just age, gender, and stuff. And I've already discussed age and gender. Well, I've never discussed gender. Gender is kind of dumb, though. <laughs> some people take that girl gamer stuff way too seriously. It's like, well, I don't know. It's, especially I'm on YouTube, and it's just, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. There's nothing I want to talk about because I don't want to make fun of anybody or like insult anybody indirectly. It's just there are some channels you'll see that really push the girl gaming thing to another level. Like it's one thing because I'm subscribed to girls that do Let's Plays and stuff like that. And it's like whatever. It's no different than watching anybody else do video games. Like I've watched Luca Jin do stuff. Um, the Age of Music. Um, Christina, I don't know how you pronounce her channel name, but Christina, whatever. I've watched these people. They just play games and do them. And then you see some other famous channels of people that literally call themselves Epic Girl Gamer or like Girl Gone Gamer. And their whole channel is just about, you know, them being a girl that plays games. And it's just like, it's totally fueling stereotypes when stuff like that happens. It's just, I don't, I don't understand it. You know, why people, and I'm not talking guys that do it. Because that's kind of annoying too. But I'm talking about the girls that like emphasize the fact that, hey, I'm a girl. Come check out my channel. And use that title to kind of feel, you know, subscribers coming into their channel. It's like, oh, we beat the fight. I should do this. Well, what are you doing? Ah, ha, ha. I have you now, Luigi. We will both taste the agony of game overing by magic. So she's killing us now. No, 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 no. Ciao. What the hell? So she just killed herself and Luigi. That's... That's kind of sad. Luigi! Well, that kind of sucks. So she just killed Luigi. That's... Mm, that's my bro. So all in like the span of an hour, Mario lost Luigi, the love of his life. No, I mean, Luigi is brother. Princess Peach, the love of his life. He's not incest. We're not going down that road. We're not talking about that. And then Bowser, his mortal enemy, that kind of became his friend, I guess. I don't really know. I don't know what's going on with that story, but... Mario lost the love of his life, Princess Peach, and his brother, Bowser. Mario never said we should grieve later. I mean, Mario never talks. He doesn't care. He doesn't care that he lost his brother. He's like, whatever. I don't need Luigi anyway. He's been breaking me down. He's been trying to steal the spotlight. The spotlight? God, that was a horrible thing. Anyway, yeah. I'm done talking about the girl gamer thing. I just think it's dumb. Some people emphasize it way too much. When it's nothing that really needs to be a big deal. Yeah, it's almost like, no, I don't know. I was going to bring up something way more controversial than that. And I'm not going to bother bringing anything else up like that. So, yeah, so I guess we did talk about gender then. I guess we're good with that. 
Yeah, I'm looking at the website again. There's really nothing else to talk about for video game controversies. We could look at controversial video games. Let's see if I haven't played any video games on this list. I'm not even watching the level anymore. Yep, so I guess it's just Mario and Tippy now. Dude, it's not just you two left. Look it. There's a pixel right behind the two of you. What about, what's his name? Flippy or whatever his weird name is? He's got like this weird thing coming out of the bottom of his square. It's like his mouth. It looks weird. I don't know. But whatever. It looks really weird. If I, I feel like I put, oh, his name is Fleep. But yeah, it's like people don't care. It's like, it's just you and me now, Mario. Um, excuse me. I'm, I'm still here, guys. I'm, don't forget about me. Kind of helped you find Dementio? Don't you remember me? Yeah, whatever. So now we're in the Inner Sanctum. The enemies in here are a lot tougher to kill uh, than in other areas of the game, I believe, in my opinion. Yeah. Lost my turn of thought there. Again. <clears throat> so anyway, yeah, let's go look at the list again. Um, Death Race. I did hear that game was very controversial. I never played it then. Yeah, I do remember that game, Death Race. I don't know if anyone of you guys have ever seen Death Race before. If not, you could look it up. This is probably not a good topic to talk about. Um, because it's like, I'm talking about games that are controversial that none of you guys can see on my screen. I should probably like put a video up of it or whatever. But whatever. If not, you guys can look up the Death Race video game that came out in 1976, is what this website says. But yeah, that game was just about running over human beings. And not like... Grand Theft Auto or Saints Row. It's just like your goal is to kill as many human beings as possible. Uh, and I do, they did like Americanize it and like, not Americanize it, but like censor it and make it, uh, you're running over gremlins and bad guys and stuff. But <laughs> like, who in the Ram mind just makes a video game where all you do is run over human beings? Your goal is to kill as many humans as possible. Hence why it's called Death Race. Which is, it's such a dumb idea. The, yeah, these blue pokies are kind of annoying. It's This whole um, Inner Sanctum level is just the hard version of all enemies in the game. The hardest versions, I think. I do think there are harder versions you can find in like the flop side um, Pit of 100 Trials and whatnot. So yeah. So there are harder versions of enemies in other places, but not in this place. Alright, let's look at other games on the list. Let's look at more recent games. Huh. Uh, Bullet Storm. The worst video game in the world due to the extreme amount of violence. Claims made in the original article were dispelled by the video game journalist. I never played Bullet Storm. I heard it was a fun game, though. <laughs> Controversial games at this point are like nothing. This is like whatever. Nobody cares about. At this point in time, it's like you can have whatever you want in video games. Yeah, because especially I'm looking at here too. If anyone remembers in Modern Warfare 2, there was that one no Russian level. I remember playing that game, that level specifically. It honestly, it kind of irked me that that was in the game. It wasn't that big a deal. I'm not some sensitive guy. But like that level was just des like, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? That level was simply dedicated to just shooting innocent people. And it's like, why does this need to be in a video game? It's like, there was, I guess, kind of to emphasize that the character was bad, I guess, to, like, make you hate him even more. But it's like, you could totally make me hate him because nobody plays Call of Duty for the story. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, it's no Homeland. Homeland was such a fun... Homefront, not Homeland. Homefront's a good show, though. Um, but Homeland was such a... Homefront. I forgot what the game is called. I think it's Homefront. Homefront was a fun game. The story was a little short, but I did really, really like the story. And I remember I really hated the enemies, the Koreans. Sorry, five Koreans. But, like, the Korean army, I should say. Uh, because the whole story was America versus Koreans. But they made you actually hate the people you were fighting. You know, you kind of saw it. And there was a lot of emotion in the game. It was just way too short of a story. Um, but I did like the story. But, like, you didn't have to put that in that video game, uh, Modern Warfare 2, where you shot up all the innocent civilians. It was, like, it was unnecessary. But at the same time, there was I don't remember ever hearing any controversy over it. Uh, they obviously never took the mission out of the game. At least I don't think they did. But whatever. I don't I don't know. This is I'm just I'm reading but this is actually kinda interesting stuff. I might put a link to this Wikipedia page that I'm looking at. There's a lot of interesting stuff. Mario Party 8's on the list? What the hell? What? Oh, it's United Kingdom, where spastic is an offensive word. <laughs> whatever. That's kinda dumb. Is that like a bad word? I don't know. I'm not a UK Ian. I'm not an Englishman. I don't know if that's really that bad of a word. Bully. Violence and sex in a school setting. There was no sex in bully. I don't think there was. 
Maybe there was then. I don't know. I don't remember there being any. Just looking at this list. All right, let's stop. Oh, there's a game called Rape Lay. What in the world? Why would anybody make a game called Rape Lay? Literally, it's a game centered around rape. Oh, and it was made in Japan. Of course it was. It was banned out right in like every country. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the worst thing I've ever read in my life. I shouldn't even be talking about this. I should be watching the gameplay. But all this is gameplay, I guess. There's not really much to talk about. I don't know if I should talk about this game. I feel like... I do Mario games. I feel like I have to have a younger audience here. I don't know. I mean, I, I know pretty much who my audience is, so I guess I shouldn't really say that. Oh, God. I, I feel like I should talk about it because I'm looking at it and I'm reacting to it. But, I don't know. I'll put a link to the article I'm reading about the game in the description, as well as the controversial thing. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. What kind of video game is this? It's, okay, I, I'll kind of describe it. It's a video game where you basically stalk a family of a mother and two daughters and just constantly rape them. Like, why would you make a game like that? I know it's Japan, and Japan kind of has a weird mindset, but why in the world would you make a game like that? That makes no sense in my mind at all. And how is that game, even in Japan, where things are weird, Why? how in the world is that ever okay? Who makes that kind of thing okay? Like, who in Japan said, oh, a game about rape, where you rape a family? That sounds great. Let's sell it. It's going to make millions of dollars for me. Like, how does that sell? I don't understand. Oh, my God. That's legitimately disturbing to me. How that ever was, like, sold. Oh, and these are the giant guys. You can make... You can get a ton of experience off killing these big silver mammoth enemies. Uh, and I mean a ton of experience. Uh, they do take a lot of damage, though. I think their health is, like, 200, I believe it is. So that would be around... Uh, do the math in my head. 12 hits you'd have to deal on them. 12 hits for a total of 206 damage. Because it will go over a little. 116 damage, excuse me. Doing bad math there. I can do math in my head. I'm a smart kid. I'm a cool I'm a cool guy. But yeah, oh my god, this video game. I don't understand Japan sometimes. Just, oh my Jesus. It was also banned in Argentina. We should stop talking about this game. It was also banned in Thailand. 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 What's Thailand? Jeez, this is so weird. Okay, whatever. Okay, I'm done reading that of this. Let's talk about what's going on in the game now. Oh my god, I feel so weird now looking at that. Like, even though... Oh my god. I don't understand some video games. There are a lot of very weird video games out there. And, like, excluding the rape games, I do think... Okay, I did... Never mind. I'm not going to get into any more controversial topics. We're done with this. Next episode, we're going to just talk about the game and talk about flowers and bunnies and rainbows and stuff. Stuff that's happy. Dogs and puppies. Nigga, the cute puppy. Oh, he's so cute. He's such a cute puppy. I'm so done with everything ever in my life. Where did... The world is a weird place. I'll just stick to Sonic and Mario. Thank you very much. I don't need no death race or rape video games. I'm completely content with Sonic Adventure 2 Battle and Super Paper Mario. I think I have a SpongeBob game in my house somewhere too. I don't know. I think I do. Yeah, it's right here. SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. That's a fun game. Yeah, I'll just be the five-year-old kid forever that played Sonic Heroes. That My five-year-old version could beat me at some of these games, to be honest. I'm sure when I first played Super Paper Mario, like, if that had a multiplayer mode or whatever, like, I'd kick my ass in it. Like, my old self would beat me now. That's just... I just... I feel like I'm bad at this game. But whatever. Yeah, this video is almost over. Uh, this next part, uh, like, what you're looking at here, you might kind of want to follow me and what I do because I was looking at a guide while uh, going through this part. So I did find my way around rather easily because this place can be really friggin' confusing. So if you are using this kind of as a walkthrough, this is a good time to use me as a walkthrough. Um, okay, this is what I was telling you guys about where I got hit by two of these guys. Because really I flipped right there, right on top of him, and I don't know why I did that. So now I'm flipped and I'm, I believe, slow, right? It looks like I'm going slow. So, like, I have to, like, use the controls in reverse, like, down is up, up is down, right is left, and left is right. 
Uh, and then I'm going slow. So, like, I duck there, and it's like, oh, God. Like, are you kidding me right now? It's just so annoying. So annoying. So, yeah, I, I end the episode here. So, in the next episode, we will do more stuff. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.